Hello everybody, welcome back to Cougar City Gaming. Today we are going to discuss the Elder Scrolls sticker book enhancements and what that is going to bring to the table when it comes out. Now these enhancements, they're going to make it to where you're not going to have to farm as much as you used to. But don't fret, you know, there's other things that are not going to take a run for your money and such. Come with us. And again, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for new content every single week. We try to make things for Elder Scrolls, Call of Duty, and Town of Salem. So there you go. Simple. If you have your sticker book figured out, all you have to do is go to a boss or to a specific foe that is going to drop that piece of gear. If you don't have it, it's going to give you a better chance to get that gear. So if you're fighting a big boss at the end of a dungeon and you don't have that burning spell weave inferno staff, and that's the only thing in your sticker book left, then you're going to be guaranteed that inferno um, staff of burning spell weave. Now, also, if you already have the sticker book filled out so you did get that inferno staff and there's nothing else from that dungeon that you can get you're going to go back to the regular loot table as it was before so a lot of people are saying well after i get my inferno staff like is that all i'm going to be getting no you're not going to be getting that you're going to go back to the randomized loot table that was there before and again um if you think that um you know the treasure chests or a part of this they're not um you cannot get the stuff from the treasure chest so that's gonna be a viable way to still farm for gear even after you get it but uh i mean it might be the easier thing to do than just regularly grinding out some bosses in the dungeon that's right folks Sauce has mentioned that treasure chests are not going to be affected by the new sticker book enhancement, meaning that if you find treasure chests out in the world, then you are going to be getting those random loot tables. So if you want to get that burning spell weave uh, staff from a chest, nah, 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 you're going to have to complete that dungeon. You're going to have to complete the dungeon, unfortunately. That also goes for the outside world, not just dungeons. If you find a chest out in the in the open, um, you're not, you know, if that's the only uh, piece, you just need a staff, you're not going to be getting that. It's going to be something completely different from the random loot table. Who knows? You might get lucky and get it, but I mean, hey, who knows? But that's going to be the way that most people farm their gear nowadays. What does this mean for gear sellers? Well, it means that your prices are going to go down. There are going to be some um, losses to this and you will have your prices go down and, and things. But there's going to be still a market for those pieces for specific trait pieces. Um, so, I mean, it's not all lost. Um, nothing is all lost. But you will have a market crash on you, kind of. Now, that doesn't mean that it's going to crash completely. Like, it is going to crash, but it's not going to be that big of a crash. People are still going to be paying 200k just to not have to farm that precise Inferno staff. Or that Divine's, you know, chest. Or, or that Impen, um, you know, girdle. Or some crap like that. There's still going to be people that are going to be paying top money. Because they don't want to do the transmute way. Now, a lot of people are worrying about PvP, but to be honest, like, you shouldn't be worried. The PvP reward boxes are not going to be a thing with that. So, all those loot that you're going to have for um, the PvP rewards of the worthy, they're not going to be there. So, you don't have to worry about that. The people are still going to be getting their coin for that. But, uh, anyways, that's pretty much it. In Imperial City sets, you're not going to have to worry about that as much either, because... Um, Sauce has mentioned that the coffers from the Telvar are not going to be affected by this. So you're still going to have to spend Telvar and PvP will still have to do some PvP things to still grind those gears out. So don't worry about the gold coin on that. You are all set. All in all, like you shouldn't really have to worry. There's still going to be those chest routes that are going to be beneficial for you. And you're still going to be doing the grind that it was before. Yes, the market is going to be a little bit rough at first. 
but once you guys figure out that people still want that gear in specific trades, you're going to still get top dollar for that. So do not necessarily fret because of that.